I just bought the cheapest car from Amazon and that is a 125cc mini jeep. Okay, let me guess, you probably either burst out laughing or cringed a bit. But listen to this. One day I was scrolling across YouTube and I found out about this guy driving one of these so-called mini jeeps a thousand miles across Utah off-road. I did a bit of research and realized that this is actually not just a big Power Wheels toy, but a 400 pound Tonka truck with an 8 horsepower engine. Picture this, if you take an old Willys Jeep from World War II and shrink it down to the size of an ATV, then add a tiny motorcycle engine and a few modern features, you end up with this. And with our beautiful 5 acres of land, I started to consider how one of these would work on our steep hilly trails. After several months of thinking about it, I started cutting a few short paths that you guys have never seen. Fast forward through spring and the early summer, I started working for the money to buy one. So today I'm going to give you guys a full review on the mini jeep, and then we're going to go on a test ride. So here's the Jeep guys, it's a 125cc engine in the back, located under the seats. It's got a chain drive to the rear axle, as you can see there's the back area. You've got LED headlights and taillights, gas can. I didn't know this could open, but it does. Here's proof that it does open up on the X-Pro model. But yeah, that's your gas can. Spare tire. Um, nice grab bar. This is very sturdy, very strong. You got your running boards, big mirrors. I mean, these are humongous. They move around pretty well. They're not. They don't usually fall when you're off-roading. They seem pretty sturdy. There's a front view, chrome wheels all around. There's the front. So looking under the hood, there is no engine up here, as other models do but this one does not. You just have a bigger gas tank instead. So apparently with the engine in the back, you get greater torque because you don't have a drive shaft that goes to the back wheels. So instead you get a bigger gas tank and more power, which is nice. So hopping inside, you've got your dashboard. These seats are pretty nice. You can move them up. Well, just, just the uh, driver's seat moves up and, up and down like that, as you can see. It goes pretty far back. I like it like kind of in the middle, but pretty far back. This seat does not move, except both do fold down, but the passenger seat does not go forward and backwards. So if you're wondering, this does not move. You've got your turn signals, left and right, and then you have your headlights. So high beams, low beams actually don't work. So it's just like high beams and off. I don't know why. You can see I can turn on high beams and it puts out a pretty good amount of light at night. And this is your choke. You pull it out to start and it helps start it up and then yeah, you just close it. I mean, it does have a horn and yeah. You've got your shifter. This is a three speed semi-automatic transmission with reverse. So you just turn the key to start it right up. Quiet, not too loud. And as you can see, you just push down for first, second, third, second, first, and then up for neutral, and then up for reverse. So give you guys a little spin around the driveway. Put it in first. Brother's gonna give me a ride around the property. You ready? This does have seat belts as well, but we don't really use them that often. Yeah, we do. Always wear your seat belt.
Now, you guys may not know this, but I actually put an Easter egg in the first episode of our Backyard Bike Park series regarding the Jeep and the Mountain Service Road. Of course, I'll be leaving that one up to you to find. With that being said, we can easily see our next goal. One of the reasons that we built the Mountain Service Road is so that we can access the dirt road that goes to the lake. The problem is we don't know if the mini Jeep will make it back up the hill without somebody pushing it, which is kind of a problem. You don't want to stay stranded at the bottom of the hill because that would not be good. So here I'm standing on where we filmed our sled jumps. I don't know if you remember, but we came down this hill, jumped over this bush or whatever, little bushes. We landed out there. Well, basically, we need to make sure the Jeep will make it up that hill. Now, that way goes to the lake. So first we're going to see if it'll make it out there and come back up that section. That's not bad, but that's the problem. We want to make sure it gets up. So that's what we're going to be testing right now. All right, here goes. Got it in first gear. Woo! <laughs> back up now. All right, time for the final test. That's hill number one. That's hill number two. Let's see what it does. Well, now that the mini jeep has proven itself worthy of our trails it'll be sticking around for a while i hope you found this video enjoyable and if you did make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if we get this video to 20 likes i'll be doing a follow-up video and we'll talk about reliability things that i like and dislike and all sorts of things about the mini jeep that are commonly asked questions and much more so as always have a great weekend and i'll see you in the next one